Welcome to another telecast of LMC Varsity Sports alongside Elijah Ware. I'm Sean McGraw. We're here at Maranek High School for a rare uh, late January non-league game between the Maranek Tigers, who are 12-3, and, and the Gordon Wolves in this boys basketball clash. And Elijah, this should be a good game. Uh, Gordon's better than their record, and Maranek's having a very good season. Yeah, both teams need to definitely fight on the defensive end, keep the pace up high, and it should be a good ball game. And when we get back, we'll have the opening tip-off next here on LMC Varsity Sports. Varsity Sports alongside Elijah Ware. I'm Sean McGraw and we're just about set for the opening tip-off as Kobe uh, Kwa-Tang, Kwa Tang will take the tip against Shane Smith and it's won by Kwa Tang and it'll be brought up here by Jaden Hernandez for Gordon as they have Jaden Hernandez, Jamal Graham, Josh Battle, uh, Lugo, Angel Lugo and Kobe Kwa Tang for Gordon. And that shot is off the back of the iron and rebounded by Bader, who's joined by Isaiah Thomas, James Mineta, Shane Smith, and Thomas Plunkett for the Tigers. Mamaronek is 12 and three, Gordon is six and eight, as both teams have only a few remaining games in the regular season here uh, in, during the section one basketball season. This one will be rebounded and played out by the Tigers and kept in play after the missed shot. And getting away with the travel but then being rejected was Bader. And they push it ahead and no foul called as Hernandez crashes to the ground. How was that not a foul? Uh, was, I, think, I think it was a good, it was a 50-50 call. It was close. Um, he, went to, he went to the rack kind of out of control anyway. As you see, Gordon, they start out in a 2-3 zone, so that means Marinex passing is gonna have to be crisp. They're gonna have to attack the gaps. 
and play together as a team if they want to beat the zone. Thomas with the three. Fake like he was going to dribble to the basket, and they just popped the three, and they didn't contest it at all. And it's 3 nothing. Good yeah. play. That's also another zone buster. When you're hitting the three ball, it makes the team have to come out of that real quick. So it'll be slowly brought up by Josh Battle. That was a double dribble. They said it was deflected though, and a travel against Quate. It yeah. looked like it was. That might have been a little bit of a makeup call. They could have either called the travel or the push off on that one. This is number 11, James Mineta brings it up to court. Thomas has it here. He passes to Mineta. Mineta is back of the iron shot and rebounded by Shane Smith, who has thrown away a turnover for the Tigers, and it'll go back to Gordon. Jamal Graham will inbound to battle. Mamarinek and man-to-man -man defense. Funny battle is listed as a guard forward, and the PA announcer Jerry Fishoff, when we were going over the rosters, told me he's a forward, but he's bringing the ball up as the point guard. As that one will be no basket, offensive foul. Great take, great take. Jamal Graham, his first, team's first. Great, great charge taken by James Mineta. Great play by Mineta on Graham. As Graham got up in the air with nowhere to go, he gets the charge called against him. First foul in the game. Nice pass inside to Plunkett. And Plunkett had uh, 22 points to lead all scorers in an all tournament on the last game we did against Porchester. We talked to him after the game scores the first field goal that's not a three for first two point basket. Marinac doing a great job so far. The first few, few possessions of seeing the gaps in the defense, attacking, and just being aggressive on the offensive end overall. So intercepted by the Tigers, pushed up to Thomas, and a nice move by Thomas, but he misses the layup as he reversed it. And stolen back by Thomas. And a nice pass ahead, and it'll be laid up by Bader. Assist to Thomas Bader with the basket, and it's quickly a touchdown lead for the Tigers, 7 0. Like we talked about in the pregame, Charlie, defense is going to be key for both teams. Good defense leads to easy offense, and that's how Mamarinek is out to this lead thus far to start the game. Thomas Plunkett's first, team's second. I'm looking for Gordon to get out of that zone and start to apply some pressure of their own if they want to keep up the pace of the game and ultimately stay in the game because Mamarinek is definitely bringing the pressure as they nearly get another steal. It looked like they did have a steal, almost enough to, that it would be a turnover on that, but it wasn't, didn't have it enough. It looked like Thomas was going to get another assist with kind of like a little push pass. And it'll stay with Mamarinek. It looked like it might go to Gordon. But it'll actually, it looked like it was going to go to Mamarinek here, but now Gordon will stay. Yeah, Gordon. The turnovers are key here. I mean, Gordon's problem right now, they have no, ball, no movement off the ball. They're depending on their point guard to break down the defense every time and dish or score. They need some off-ball movement by the players if they want to get in a good rhythm in their offense. So that three went in and out on the miss by Hernandez. And Mamarinek looking here to either make it a nine Nothing leader, 10 nothing. Oh, Plucky rejected and gets his own rebound. So that just counts as a rebound. That's a block, though, for Battle. But he now has four of the nine points, and it's 9 nothing. If you're Coach um, Vecchione for Gordon, you got to call timeout, especially yeah, so after it's, a basket here. If they score here, you got to call timeout, right? Yeah, it's the same thing play after play. Gordon's driving. Someone's trying to dish. And Mamarinek has a sn yeah, snuffed yeah, it out in the clip. Devin Fredericks in for Jamal Graham, first sub of the game. It'll come in for Gordon. Uh, they'll have it underneath, and it'll be in battle by the newcomer, Fredericks. Fredericks in the corner, dribbles it out to Hernandez. 
Gordon still looking for their first basket with 3.40 to go in this first quarter as they trail 9-0 here on LMC Varsity Sports as it will be played to top of the key. In and out on the three. Can't go home for battle. Rebounded in the first basket is scored by Gordon's uh, Angel Lugo. Yeah, but Marinette didn't finish off that possession. But thus far, their defensive rotations have been crisp and clean. That's why they're off to a 9-2 lead early to start the first quarter. I'm Elijah Ware with Charlie McGraw. We'll be right back. Back here on LMC Varsity Sports alongside Elijah Ware. I'm Charlie McGraw, 9-2, following the first basket by Angel Lugo. And that timeout that you thought should have been taken maybe about two minutes before that when they fell behind 7-0. Was the first time out was taken by Gordon coach Michael Vecchio. And that three is, wow, in, out, and then out again. Went in, out, in, out, twice. I don't see that. That was a long three, too, by Bader. Yeah, but Marinette was still, def although they didn't get the bucket, they're definitely on point on this Saturday afternoon. Good Chris Ball movement on that play. You know, the first pass got deflected. But they're definitely doing their thing. As Gordon does the same thing again, coming out of the timeout, they need some movement off the ball, some guys setting some down screens or something so they can get some shooters open, some more gaps to attack the man-to-man -man defense that Marinette is running. As Gordon changes up their defense to a 1-1-2, the up man applying some, applying some pressure on the ball. If it sounds like uh, if you're at home, that Elijah has experience playing basketball. It is, he does. Mm -hmm. He almost played for Iona's team, right? Yeah. Division one. Or an invited walk on? Or? Yeah, I was a walk on. You walked on, you played a year or something? Yeah. Well, I didn't even play. I, I stopped playing because I just, as a walk on, I felt like it wasn't worth it anymore. Exactly. So I just wanted to get my career goals right. going. I wanted to get some, some other, take some other avenues. You know? As Bader makes the two, and it's quickly 11 2. He's got four points along with. Thomas Plunkett and uh, other, um, that's eight, and then a three by Thomas is the 11th. That's Tommy, Tommy Martin, who checked in a minute or two ago. Great pass by Tommy Martin, laid in by Ethan Renner. Well, Marinette is pushing the pace, and Gordon is in danger of getting blown out early in this first quarter. 13-2, yeah, you don't want to go behind by about, you don't want to be behind 15 after the first quarter. That would be bad, and the, they're four points away from that happening as it's 13-2. And Charlie, it's the defense of Mamaronek. They're applying pressure, they're playing aggressive, and their defense is leading the easy offense. Oh, and uh, way off of that out. three was Fredericks. He hit the side of the backboard. Tommy Martin brings it up to Renner, swings it, Shane Smith. Ball Thomas movement. got away with a walk and passes to Bader for three! Jared Bader! Nice pass, Isaiah Thomas to get away with that travel and then make the nice pass. He's got two assists and three points, and Bader's got seven to lead all scores, and it's 16 to two, Tigers. Marinette continues their crisp passing, continue to play great defense. They're off to a great start, 16 to two. And take another charge, second or th second charge. So he's only had two fouls, and they both were charges for Gordon. That one on battle, Graham has a charge, and it is 16-2, and Marinick has the ball with 107 to go and 33 on the shot clock here in this first quarter, and they can make it about 22 at the end of the first quarter. That's going to be very hard for Gordon to, to come back. I mean, Gordon makes it 18 to And another timeout. Coach Tyrone Carver Jr., he has the team on point to start the first quarter. As Gordon calls the timeout, try to get things together, we'll be right back with LMC TV, Varsity Sports. Back here on LMC Varsity Sports, alongside Elijah Ware. I'm Troy McGraw, it's 18-2, and Gordon Ball, they've already used two of their timeouts, which they've needed and warranted, and a good call. Is that three? It's an awkward shot, but it's good for uh, Jaden Hernandez, way downtown, and it's 18-5. And Thomas trying to answer with the three, and he does! That was a great shot by Hernandez on one end, then a great shot by Green on the other end. Shot clock turned off. Gordon can save for the last shot if they want. It doesn't look like they will. And a foul. Two shots. Ooh, it looked like it could have been on the floor, but they said it going up. That'll be Thomas's second foul. 
Good job by Hernandez. Gordon definitely needs to get some more points on the board and hopefully another stop and another shot at a score before the end of the quarter so they can have a shot to gain some momentum going into the second quarter. Hernandez misses the first. They'll need to make their free throws. This is the first free throw of the game. Mm -hmm. But uh, Gordon, it's free throw. if they can get to the free throw line, if they can make them, that'll help. Yeah, and, and that's a problem. If this is their first free throw attempt at the end of the first quarter, that, that shows their aggressiveness level and that they need to attack the, attack the paint more under control. Mamaronek hasn't had any free throws, though, either. Just the two misses there from Hernandez. Martin gets the feed. The nice pace from Smith. Thought he got fouled. No call. Gordon has a chance for a last second shot. And it'll be no good, no good. As it was after the whistle. So we'll go to the, uh, the end of the first quarter. And it's 21 5. Marinek, we'll be right back on LMC Varsity Sports. Back here, LMC Varsity Sports. I'm Elijah Ware alongside Charlie McGraw. Marinek out to a 21 5 lead after the first quarter of play, and it'll be their ball coming in to start the second quarter. And it's such a big lead, it's okay that they, Isaiah Thomas has a second foul, as he's contributed with the six points and two assists, so mm -hmm. to have their uh, star, one of their star players on the bench uh, with two fouls with a 16, uh, 16 point lead is okay, as it's made by Ethan Renner, he now has four points. Yeah, that was a great dribble pull up. He got, he followed the shot, got his own rebound, got the easy layup. That's a lost art in the game a lot of times, following your shot after a miss. Oscar Robertson said that that's how he scored a lot of his points. Nice pass. Back in the day. As I think the ref's gonna call three seconds here. And he does. And it'll be Gordon Ball. Even though it really wasn't three seconds. I wasn't thinking he was gonna call that. I thought it was a travel. <laughs> That was a trap. Yeah, that's what I thought he was going to call. As Marinette changes up from man to man, they do a four quarter, well, three quarters court zone, 2 2 1. Gordon breaks it with ease. As great. Josh Battle is at three. Josh Battle. From three, about three feet behind the three point line. Good shot by Battle. As Gordon comes out the second quarter, a little more composed, Charlie. Yeah, there was their second three of the game, and they were both long ones. Jaden Hernandez had that one a few minutes ago in the first. They only had two points in the first seven minutes of the game. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the long three by Hernandez, and the battle hits a three. Well, Marinette continues to run their offense. Coach Carver has their team moving off the ball. And that's why you get that wide open three from Tommy Martin in the corner. And he has five points off the bench now, Elijah. And that was the near back court on Horton. Good defense here. I love, I love Coach Carver's energy on the sidelines, and his team is following suit, and they get the rebound once again, and they're out. And a great pass up ahead, and the finish. Thomas Pokey. From Renner. From, yeah, from Ethan Renner. Ethan Renner. Great, great pass by Renner. It was almost a full court pass. And Marinek is right back in it. They get the deflection. It's a good ball on the side. That was a great full court pass, though. Yeah, it was a great look. That's why coaches always tell their, their point guards, especially, to keep your head up. And a good play by Plunkett to make yeah. sure he caught it and then laid it in. Mm -hmm. Great Because it run. wasn't the easiest play all to catch because it was from so far. Mm -hmm. Another deflection. As Marinette's defense is really taking over this game as they're up 28 to 8 with 5.56 to go in the second. Gordon should try and slow it down and maybe play a little. I think Gordon needs to speed it up. Like it's just, just to touch, just at least for two minutes. Try something, yeah. And just try to try to test, try to test their ball handling, see if they can get some easy buckets of their own, and try to get back into this game. Gordon definitely has some speed. They definitely have some athletes. They just have to utilize them the right way. Already six fouls on the Marinac. Next foul will be one and one. As Hernandez has it out top, but near travel. And Marina continues to deny as they try to trap the, the wing. 
and a three is up by Hernandez and in. Wow. He has a weird way of shooting, but he just like steps into that three. That's why he has to shoot it from so far back because the way he steps into it, it'll take him past the three point line and it'll just be a two. And they get a quick board. That's what they need to do. Start making more baskets, obviously. But and this, to start the it. second quarter, they're definitely under more control. They're running their offense a little more smoothly. Ooh. That's Hernandez. Wow. Got it on the wing. And the foul is called, I believe, on James Manetta. Yeah, his first. Team seventh they're at it. Foul on James Manetta. And Angel Lugo will be at the line shooting, too. Shooting two shots, Angel Lugo. Oh, sorry. They the board was in the way. I thought they had uh, 16 fouls, but they had five. They just had four oh. before. Now they have five. Yeah, have yeah Zavin, Gavin Zagini goes out of the game for Tommy Martin as he comes back in. I didn't even realize Tommy Martin went out for, I guess it was like one minute. Mm -hmm. uh, Zagini picked up one of the fouls, a quick one, a minute ago. As Lugo goes one for two from the line. Great pass up ahead. And a Ooh. near putback dunk by Martin. Tommy Martin, great play. We saw him the last game we did uh, have uh, 11 points off the bench. Mm -hmm. I'll be in a really big one. I don't know. Martin got up on that one, Charlie. As a junior, hopefully next year he's piping that back home. Put a little, a little work in the all season. Do, do a 50-inch 50, 50 vertical jump program. And he'll be about that backcourt call. I think that was backcourt. As, as Martin lurks down on the baseline and around the high post area. And he turns it over. And this is when Gordon needs to push the ball before Mariner can set up in their defense. And they do and almost get a layup as Martin runs the court and finishes. But it's foul. But that was definitely, oh, he wasn't fouled, I guess. He was fouled, but he wasn't. Right? Chainspent back into the game for the Tigers. As it'll be Mamaronek ball underneath. As Renner checks out of the game. And another turnover by Mamaronek. As Gordon looks to push the ball. And it's brought back out by Devin Fredericks as he passes to Hernandez. Hernandez looks for the screen. Gordon is maintaining in the second quarter, Charlie, but if they wanna if they wanna get back in this game, they're definitely gonna have to pick up the pace and the pressure. I was just thinking of how they are playing much better. They uh, the score that, they're down 16, and they were down, outscored the whole first and quarter another, by, by 16, and another turnover by Mamaronek. It was 21-5 after the first quarter. Now it's 30-14. Yeah, that's, so that's, they're playing. They're equal in this quarter here. Yeah, that's three straight turnovers nine, by Mamarinek. Nine-nine for the quarter, uh, Elijah. Okay. And yeah, a lot more turnovers made by the Tigers in this quarter. Thomas Plunkett is still doing a great job of, of running rim to rim, as the big man is getting up and down the court, giving his team good opportunities on offense. As Battles tries to step back, he passes it to Watt, to, to Kobe Quatang, excuse me. And a turnover by Gordon, as it'll be Mamaronek ball. Okay, 30 to 14, Mamaronek is maintaining. But I know that Coach Carver really wants them to keep, keep the pressure up and continue to push the pace to expand this lead and get out of here early with the win on this Saturday so that everyone can go home and enjoy. As Pumpy gets a bucket down low, and he expands the lead. As a foul is called on Tommy Martin. Now your foul, charge to Tommy Martin. as Martin's first foul. Martin's job on that play was to cut off the sideline, which was coach, which Coach Carver was yelling out. You got to cut off the sideline so the so the back guy can come up and trap. As soon as he turned around, <laughs> they in it. As Martin deflects that one out of bounds. 
Martin making a case to be our interviewee after the game. Yeah, he's having a, a strong first half thus far. Off the bench. Off the bench. All right. There's another turnover by Gordon. And a bad pass by James Manetta. A lot of turnovers from Marinac in the second quarter. Yeah, they got a little complacent here. I think it would be smart for Coach Carver to get a timeout, get his team back under control so they can build on this lead going to the half, feeling good about themselves. When you have the team down, you got to put your foot on their throat and twist it. I hope that's not too explicit, but that's what you have to do because if you let a team keep lingering around, oftentimes they'll get back up. First foul on Smith, 17. Now it's the bonus. Kobe Quatang. His free throw is good. One and one. He'll have one more to come. He's got three points now. He scored the last basket for Gordon. Mm -hmm. Quatang misses the second, but gets his own rebound. Shaq, but in like a lefty <laughs> way. Shaq had like the one hand push. Right. He's got like the lefty almost. Hands too big. As Marinek pushes up the court, Manetta kicks it out to Jared Vader. I see he hits the one dribble pull up. 34 15 for Marinek as they stay in their 2 2 1 zone. Three quarters court. Martin moves up top now. As they get him on the sideline, they had a trap. Uh, I think that was Manetta's job to deny that. Just like it's Martin's job right now. And they let him out. But a strip as Hernandez gets it back, kicks it to the corner, but out of bounds. And another turnover from Wharton, which is really killing them thus far. And it'll be Mamaronek ball. And there's the, there's the Coach Carver timeout before the half to get his team on another burst. And we'll be right back with LMC. Varsity Sports. Back here, LM, back here with LMC, LMC Varsity Sports. As Marinek brings the ball across the timeline. Following a timeout by Coach Carver, as he said, Elijah, and the, mm -hmm. he wants to use his final two minutes as a key to increase this 19-point uh, lead. And because if you regress and they uh, do it, they're still in the game. If they maybe go on a 6-0 run here to end it. They would be down by 13. Mm -hmm. You don't want to give a team any momentum, especially when they're down going into the second half or any breaks. Did that hit the rim? They reset the shot clock. That was very um, close. It, it may have grazed it. I'm not if sure. It, if it didn't, then it, the shot clock should be below 10. Yeah. It was very close. Very no complaints from Coach Vecch Vecchione on the uh, Gordon sideline. So. As Martin come, tries to come across the screen. Good cut by Martin, but it's stolen. Ooh, he got poked in the face by Martin, did Hernandez. As Hernandez brings it out, and Gordon steps into Ooh. a three. Three point basket for Josh. And Josh Battle hits it. Huge, huge play there. They used the turnover like what marinette has been doing, using the turnover for points. That's what Gordon did there. And that's a big play for Gordon. Ooh, as late. the referee calls a foul, and Martin will be going to line shooting too. Late foul on Kyle Hall, who just came in the game. If, if Gordon, if Gordon can, depending on if, if Martin makes his free throws or not, if Gordon can score two or three more times before the end of the half, get a couple stops, they're right back in this game. Except there's only 102 left, <laughs> and Martin misses the first free throw though, so they could do that. Right, if they hit two more threes and Marana doesn't score, it could be a 10-point game. And he misses his free throw. Wow, the uh, bell that's on the syncrasy for like the end of the classes it went off right after he released it. That could have really distracted us. All right, we playing so early here on a Saturday, we're not, right. so the bell is going School, off. Right, that should be the last, one of the last ones. Mm -hmm. It's almost 3 o'clock. Tommy Martin. Tommy Martin called for the foul. One and one. As Devin Fredericks will be going to the line to shoot one and one like Charlie said. He'll come out with two fouls. As Thomas got his second foul with seven and a half to go, and we didn't see him the rest of the half. Martin's on the bench right now, but I love the energy he brought the whole first half. Even as Coach Carver wants to preserve him with his two fouls so he can play and bring that energy back for the second half. He made half. his second free throw, I think, Martin. He, went, he had one of them, right? Yeah, yeah, because it was yeah. 34. Yeah. yeah, he made one. The second one missed the first. Both free throws made by Fredericks. Huge free throws by Fredericks. As As Gordon. Before that, Gordon was uh, one of 
four of eight from the free throw. And a good uh, Euro two step. Two of six and now four of eight. But it's missed. And a good put back. By Plunkett. He has 10 points now. As they cut off the sidelines and near, and it is a steal. Wow, that's bad for Gordon. Yeah. That's four points in 10 seconds. That's what you want, that's what pressure does. You might give up two or, two or four points, but you'll score eight. And they get the two though, nice pass from Hernandez to Hall. He has his two first. This is to James Hernandez. 39-22. Yeah, I think the Mariners will try to hold it for the last shot here. As they go through their offense, the down screen for Plunkett. Plunkett up here. And a good drive and a good little floater Bader. by Jared Bader. And the full oh. shot nearly goes in. That would have counted. And we're 41-22, Mariners on top to end the second. Quarter. I'm Elijah Ware with Charlie McGraw. We'll be right back here with LMC, LMC Varsity Sports to start your second half. Ready? Back here, LMC Varsity Sports. I'm Elijah Ware alongside Charlie McGraw. Mamarinek up 41 to 22 to start the second half. As Gordon will have the ball to come in, and it's battle bringing it across the timeline. Being guarded by Isaiah Thomas. Not the one for the Pistons or the one for uh, the Cavs. As Marinette gets the rebound, brings it across. And it'll be Plunkett down low as he tries to get possession, but it's blocked. And Marinette gets the steal. And it'll be Thomas setting it up. As Coach Carver calls out two. I'm guessing that plays to the, for the two guard, which was James Manetta as he misses the layup. Hernandez brings it, looks to the left with a cutter. Angel Lugo, but this one sails out of bounds. And Manetta will bring the ball back across the timeline. Elijah, we forgot to mention uh, earlier that Will Sarkozy, one of the best players. Mm -hmm. That three is good by Jared Bader. He's got 14 points now. Uh, one of the best players, Will Sarkozy, is still recovering from mono, so he's not playing, oh, although he is with the team on the bench. Okay. That one's good. Count the basket for Gua, Gua Tang. Kobe. Kobe Gua Tang has five points now, and he'll get a chance at an end one. Yeah, I like Gua Tang. I like his game. He He's a good defender, gets a, gets a lot of blocks, and he's always around the rim and always around the ball. And that lefty push free throw is good. He's got six now. As Coach Carver gets the energy guy, Tom, Tommy Martin, back in the game fast for Plunkett. As he's probably in foul trouble. For Plunk Plunkett. Mineta has two. And Plunkett just has one, I think. I don't know, just switching it up. As the referee calls an off ball foul. On, on Bader, his yeah, first. Bader. Team's second. Long pass. And this one is stolen Good. by Mamaronek. Good play by Manetta, shield it away. And, and Manetta kicks Smith. it to the corner. The dribble pull up by Bader is good. Good control by Jared Bader to get that, that one two dribble pull up and sink the shot. He's got 16 As points. this one is passed up to Hernandez, he dishes it to Quatang, and he finishes. Good pass by Jaden Hernandez. He's got three assists now. As Mamarinek has come out a little bit shakier on defense to start this second half. And it'll be Martin wide open for a three ball, and he drains it. Martin has been a key contributor off the bench. Hitting threes, getting steals. He's just been everywhere this evening, this afternoon, as Hernandez knocks down the three. Oh, they call it a two, foot on the line. As Vanetta brings it across the timeline. Like I said before, he has to be a couple feet behind because of the way his shot puts mm -hmm. it in, his foot moves it in front of him. It's a good call by the official. As Martin gets it down in the post, and this one is blocked by Quatang. And Martin thinks wisely and kicks it back out as Quatang has been all over the blocks today. As he gets the rebound, kicks it up to Hernandez. That's a 
Hernandez passes it across. The kick out and the missed shot as Martin gets the rebound. As Coach Carver urges his team to push the ball and a great pass by Manetta cross court to the corner. But this one is missed by Bader. As Gordon pushes up the side, a good move to the middle. And a great drive as Lugo nice through the defense for the two. Five for Lugo. A couple of assistants from Amaranek did not like that. There was no travel call there. As Martin has it up top, he swings to Mineta. A great cut by Bader as he finishes the layup. So push the lead back to 20 from Amaranek. Bader has 18 in, now. As they stay in with their full court pressure. And this one is saved, but to Amaranek. As Mineta pushes the pace, he has, he has Martin running the right wing. And Martin finishes the layup. And as they bait them to the sideline, Boateng is going to turn around into a trap. And this one is another turnover as Thomas Use gets the steal. Use there. It's right in front of the coach. Use your time out there. You got mm -hmm. four left. As Martin has the ball up top, he kicks it around to Bader. And Bader shoots another three and hits another three. Now we have a timeout by Gordon. 56 31, Mamaronek. We'll be right back with LMC Varsity Sports. And we're back with LMC Varsity Sports. Jared Bader up to 21 points as Mamaronek has a 56 31 lead over Gordon. And they continue to bring the pressure as Hernandez kicks it out to battle. He shoots a three and hits it. Another good pass from Hernandez. Yeah, He's got four assists. As Manetta brings it back across the timeline. As Bader is wide open yet again for another three ball, but this one is off the front rim. This battle gets the rebound and pushes. He kicks out, but out of bounds. So he was trying to get that one to Jamal Graham. But this one sails out of bounds and it'll be Marinek ball with 3.15 left to go in the third quarter. As Coach Carver calls out instructions for his point guard, Manetta, as he walks it across. Martin out top, as he gives him a jab step. And Manetta gets it off the screen, one dribble pull up, but this one hits net, but not inside the hoop. And it'll be Gordon Ball. As Graham kicks it to Hernandez, back cross to battle as they try to break this press. They do a great job of getting it to the middle. Because this one was another near backcourt. And another steal by Mamaronek as they push. And a bad pass by Manetta as he threw it at Martin's feet. And this will, and this will be Gordon Ball. And do you believe that Gordon has more scores than uh, Mamaronek? Six guys have scored. Fredericks, Hernandez, Battle, Hall, albeit Fredericks and Hall have two. Lugo and uh, Kwa Tang led by Battle. And Mamaronek has five scores only. Is that the foul? Two shots. As Bader's got 21, Martin's got 13, Plunkett's got 10, Thomas has six, and Renner has six. No one else has scored for the Tigers. As Lugo will be at the line shooting two. Looking to add to his five points. I like how Coach Carver still has his team applying pressure. Whether it's working or not, they're applying pressure making Gordon play faster than what they want to. And that's why they're up to this 22 point lead with two and a half to go in the third quarter. As Lugo misses the first, he'll have one more. And he sinks this one to slightly cut into this lead, bring it down to 21. And this kick to Isaiah Thomas as he drives, tries to finish with the left hand, but another block by Cortain wow. and he saves it in. He thought it was going way out, and then he and saw battle it was pushes and dishes. And Lugo misses the layup. Thought it looked like it slipped. Martin, nice play. He's got 15 now. It's going to definitely be close between Martin and, and Bader. Well, we already interviewed game. Bader, so Rob Moretti rule as you can't interview the same player twice during the regular season. Obviously, Varsity Sports producer. 
Although he would say it's not his rule. I mean, if he cooking, he cooking. <laughs> Jump ball, possession arrow. Nah, both, both kids are definitely having a great game, though. Pretty sure that either one would be proud of the team. We already interviewed Bader. Um, that game, the first game of the season that we did uh, off the bench, Bader had about 25 points off the bench. More than 20 points off the bench. Uh, it makes Martin an easy choice, right now at least. Uh, especially since the next closest guy, Plunkett, had 10. Uh, we already in I interviewed him in the last game we did against Portchester. As Bader has it on the wing, down low to Plunkett, as he gives a little, thought it was gonna be a jump hook, but he steps through and misses the layup. As Hernandez pushes the pace a little, hesitation into the rack, and he finishes. He's played pretty good. He's got 10 points now with about five assists. And this one is stolen by Lugo. And, they and, that, was, and that was Gordon's chance to run. As Battle crosses over, over three. behind the screen Ooh. and hits yet another three for Battle. But he's been shooting pretty good today. He's got 12 now. All four, all threes. 58-40. Could get a... Cut it. You never know if they can cut it. Uh, they get a stop here and another score. Yeah, especially basketball. The game is hardly ever out of reach. Oh, oh. in and out. Fuck it. That's exactly what Gordon needs to score another three here at 15. 40 seconds to go in this third quarter, Elijah. Yeah. And it's thrown away. Huge play by the Tigers. Great steal by Ethan Renner. And he is fouled. That's a smart foul. That's a good foul because they're not in the bonus. Mm -hmm. It's not shooting. Only thing is it stops the shot clock, but that's fine. Yeah, good foul by Fred by Fredericks. Good foul. As Bader will take it out. That's the, only their first foul with 33 seconds left uh, in the second half. And Smart it's to the Plunkett. corner for Bader as he shoots another three. Ooh, that's a bad shot. This one off the iron. But he gets it back, follows the shot. It's a good job. 23 points now for Bader. That was a good play, although it looked like a bad shot, but he got his own rebound at least, and then he made it. He got the good bounce. I wonder how much Coach Carver is going to play him in the fourth quarter. Maybe he could get to his 30. Foul on the floor on Plunkett. Good call by the second. referee. Not shooting. They set a shot clock since there was, uh, this, the shot clock was turned off. Mm -hmm. Tiger set up in a 2-3 zone to close out the half. And this one is in off the glass for Hernandez as that puts a small dent into the lead for Mamaronek going into the fourth quarter, maybe giving Gordon a little bit of life as they hope to make a run to start out the, the fourth quarter. We'll be right back with LMC Varsity Sports. Back here on LMC Varsity Sports alongside Elijah Ware, I'm Charlie McGraw, our cameraman, our LMC Varsity Sports producer, Rob Moretti, Kevin Duarte, and Xavier the X-Man Campo. And that shot is, uh, they look to cut into the 17-point deficit with a quick shot by uh, Lugo, Angel Lugo, and he can't make it. And going to the free throw line on the fast break was Isaiah Thomas. He'll shoot two on the hard foul on battle, his second, team's second. Great take by Thomas. As he's at the line shooting two. Name spelled exactly the same as the original. As he makes the first. Thomas misses the second. Seven points. But Marinette gets the rebound. Good job by Shane Smith. As Renner is up top as he yells out instructions for his team. Martin up top for a wide open three ball, and it is off the front rim. Off and is that Smith? Right, 61-43 with 7:29 left in this game. So Marinex had a big lead throughout, but they haven't made it a blowout yet like they did in the last game we did against Porchester. They won that game. 81-19. Game was a route. In the get go. At three, no good. Rebounded by Renner. 
Martin will go to the line to shoot two. Foul on uh, Quateng. Kobe Quateng. Quateng, his first. Team's third. Tommy Martin to the line looking to add to his 15 points. And he makes the first 16 for Martin now. I really like my man next style of play, Charlie. They play aggressive, tena tenacious on the defensive end. Coach Carver really has them playing with high energy as Rendell will shoot a three ball and hit it. Nice play by Renner. Assisted by, uh, he's got nine now, assisted by Jared Bader as he got the rebound play to throw it on the lefty stroke. And Renner makes it 65-43. Offensive foul on Fredericks, his second, team's fourth. A couple quick fouls here to start the third quarter. I mean the fourth quarter as they only had one foul in the third quarter. Did the Wolves. Now they have four. But Marinette can definitely be a dangerous team come playoff time for anybody. They're a little bit undersized, but they, if they continue to play tenacious defense the way, they, the way we've seen today and make shots, they can definitely run with a lot of teams. Foul on Shane Smith. His third, team's fifth. They should get a good seed. If they're, so they're 13 and three right now. They should have a decent seed. For double A, they'd be a two behind Mount Vernon. Wow. The season ended today, and they have about five games left, right, or less. You're only allowed to play 20, correct? So 13 and three, barring a miracle. Um, so they only have four games left. So if they can win out, they'll definitely be a two then. Two of them, right? Mount Vernon would be tough. As this one is turned over by Mamaronek. Another turnover. But Jared Bader, one, a turnover, thing, so. one thing about Bader is he I always know. knows where to be on the court. That's why he gets so many open shots, because he, po he gets to the right spots, and he knows how to get a shot off. Gordon's an eight. Yeah. Tommy Martin. His third foul. He's got 16 points though. Still just a five scores. Renner, nine, seven for Thomas, 23 for Bader, 16 for Martin, and 10 for Plunkett. And oh no, oh Martin. Martin Ooh, got away yeah. with the possible fourth foul. Knocked down Fernandez right on. Right to the floor as Thomas makes the shot, steps in, passes to Martin, and Martin gets 17 and 18. Nice pass by Thomas. He's got four assists now to yeah. go along with seven points. Yeah, nice pass by Thomas. Nice little floater finish in the lane wow. by Martin. People don't realize how hard that shot really is, especially the close ones. So you really have to concentrate and have the right touch on it if you want to go in smooth. Thomas is third. One and one. Shooting one and one, Josh Battle. Josh Battle, as it was on the floor foul, so it'll just be one and one for Battle. He's got 13 now. Yeah, Not to sound corny, but Battle was battled out there. Yeah, he's having a solid game. All, I think all threes except the his free throw now. And yep. Four threes and two free throws for Battle. He's got 14 to lead all Gordon scores. Jaden Hernandez has 10, and Kobe quatan has got eight. Martin's got it here. 18, looking for 19, 20. Right it passes the three. Oh, he oh, had it. Why did he shoot that one? Instead, oh, that was, got away with the travel. Big time. Bader. This is a good deal. When you're up 22, you get away with that. Yeah, this is a good defensive possession by Gordon. Ooh. In and out for Bader. But nearly a dagger oh, by around Bader. Around the world, that would have made it 70-45 with 438. Travel, no basket, travel. No basket. Let's see if Gordon can keep up the pressure on defense. I haven't seen quite the, the energy on defense that I've been looking for from Gordon for them to compete in this game yet today. 
and they nearly get That's a steal, better. and they do. Wow, they got tangled. As Kutang has it, he takes it to the basket, and no continuation. The basket on the floor. In high school. Could have been an N1, but instead it was not. It'll be two, one and one for Kwateng. Mm -hmm. on the floor, it was before he shot it. Shooting one and one, Kobe Kwateng. I like Kwateng, though. I think if Mamaronek had him, he'll be, he'll be, I think Coach Carver will put him in position to be a superstar defensive big man. Free throw by Kwateng is just hit the rim. As he just missed that free throw and it hit the. I mean, he, he missed it big time on that free throw and they got it. As with the lefty push shot, as we were talking about, it, it reminded me of Shaq's uh, kind of free throws. Oh, Shaq with, with his right hand. Kwateng now missed. Now two of five. Connor Manziel comes right off the bench and scores. The last game we did where they won 81 to 3, Manziel had 10 points off the bench all in the final uh, quarter. Yeah, Manziel, the sophomore, getting some burn in a blowout. Everyone happy for him, then he gets to score. He can score when he's in, though. Martin looking for 20, instead passes unselfishly, and Bader gets 25. Great pass by Martin, very unselfish. And Beta gets the two. One thing I'm impressed with Charlie is Mamarinek's defensive IQ. They know they know where they know when and where to trap. They bait you. And that's why they're always out and running and getting easy buckets. They have they have great instincts on the defensive end. 245 to go. Gordon has the ball here. Trailing by 26. And the shot is good as battle. Timeout, Coach Carver. We'll be right back on OMC Varsity Sports. 71 48, 231 to go. Just a, a late timeout by. Coach Carver. Back here on LMC Varsity Sports alongside uh, Elijah Ware. I'm Troy McGraw. Our cameramen are Rob Moretti, who's also the LMC Varsity Sports producer, Kevin Duarte, and the X Man, Xavier Campo. And that layup is good by Zinchini. As Gavin Zinchini with the two. Zinchini adds to the score and um, gets added to the score sheet along with Manziel. Goes out. Coutinho comes into the game. He replaces Tommy Martin, who will exit with 18 points, and we'll talk to him after the game. That's six and eight. They have a lot of players. They have like 15 players. They could they could scrimmage at practice and still have guys watching. Oh, right. yeah. That one's good for Coutinho. He scores. Lucas Coutinho, the senior fan favorite with the basket. And it's 75-48. Tigers with 130 to go. All we need to do is get big country into the scoring column. Mm -hmm. Number 33, Aiden French. He's got the body like, remember Bryant Reeves with mm -hmm. Vancouver? Mm -hmm. Number 33, big boy uh, is French. Just a junior, too. As Gordon has two freshmen in the game. Number 22, Messiah Bright. Gordon doesn't have a JV, so they uh, these guys coming off the bench this late, it's startling that they're freshmen, but it's because they don't have a JV. Mm -hmm. That's why they're on the varsity. Along with Rusbert Jimenez. So let's see how these guys look. Get some, get some varsity action going. Get some experience going into not only future games, but next year, so they'll be ready. 
It's big country, goes in and out. Nearly stolen by the Tigers and Zagini. 47 seconds. Only thing in doubt is the final score, 75-48 Tigers over the Wolves. The Meredex led wire to wire. They have not trailed in this one. I know Mamaroneck really wants to keep his team under 50 points, and it looks like they'll do so with the turnover by Gordon. Coming into the game will be Ameo Fori. Okay, we got the special pronunciation from Dabo. Not Dabo Sweeney, Dabo Ameo Fori. This was a really good game for Mamaroneck, Charlie. As in and out, missing the three was Connor Manziel. They played pretty good. The defensive pressure, offensively moving the ball, they just looked really crisp on this Saturday afternoon. And that's why they're coming away with the big 27 point win. Gordon will just dribble it out. Now I need to try to score. As it'll be a final score of 75 for the 75. Gordon, 48. So, 75-48 win. And they now improve to 13 and three. And Gordon is six and nine as Elijah, the defense, uh, helped them win this game and uh, put it away easy. And there was never in doubt as they were started the game up nine nothing. Yeah, they started the game out strong. Kept, kept maintaining through the second and third quarters, and the fourth quarter they just put them away. Good, strong overall performance by Mamaroneck. And in the first and fourth quarter, Gordon only scored five points in each quarter. They had five in the first, five in the fourth. So that was one of the reasons uh, Mamaroneck was able to win. Yeah, they started strong and finished strong. And through, throughout it all, throughout the runs by Gordon, they maintained. So, a good game by Mamaroneck. We'll be right back with Al and LMC Varsity Sports with interviews and Analysis here on LMC. Back here in the post-game show with Tommy Martin. Tommy, you had a big game off the bench, 19 points. Uh, what's it? Even though you come off the bench, you're a big contributor for the team. Explain that. Mm -hmm. um, well, I had th this is my third year on the varsity, so I just want to do anything for my team and what we could do. I could put out for the my team, yeah. And uh, talk about that play, the follow-up play with the basket. That was a good play there. Uh, it was a tough play, but you were able to um, put it in. Uh, tell about follow-up rebounds and to put those baskets in. How big are those for you, for you to help the team? Well, coach always tells me crash the boards anytime I can, so I just went in and it happened. So I was like, yeah. And uh, you guys, uh, you said this is your third year on the team. You're just a junior. Mm -hmm. um, and is this one of the best teams you've been on here at Mamaroneck? As you guys are 13-3 uh, and three now, you have a chance to be a two or a three seed in the playoffs with four games left. What would you say uh, is one of the best teams you've been on here as, at yeah, the Tigers? Definitely. Definitely one of the best teams I've been on. Um, first two years we had loser records, so this year I want my seniors to go out on a good note. And uh, lastly, what do you feel uh, your chances are uh, as a team heading towards the playoffs, and what do you guys have to do to maybe uh, make a deep uh, run in the playoffs? Um, we just got to keep on playing hard and play together. That's all. But we're gonna. I think we're gonna go far this year. So that's yeah. I'm Elijah Ware here with Coach Carver. Coach Carver, your team looked very crisp on the defensive end. Can you just explain your philosophy and how you get your your team to play with so much energy? Oh man, I actually didn't think we played well defensively today at all. Uh, but thank you for the compliment. Uh, we talk about, you know, we don't want any drive-bys. We want to keep the ball in front. Um, and then we want to make sure that we're in help position if someone gets beat. Um, and then we want to make sure that we help the helper. So uh, we pride ourselves on defense. You know, we, 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 we talk about never having an off night on defense. Um, unfortunately, we didn't play to our capabilities on that end of the floor today, but we got a couple of days to clean it up. Okay. Um, yes, yes, Coach. The defense definitely leads to easy buckets. Your offense was moving the ball very crisp. Can you explain what you expect from your team moving forward on both ends of the floor? Offensively, we got a really, really um, unselfish crew. Uh, they always look for the extra pass. Uh, they share the ball very well. Um, so offensively, you know, we're okay. Uh, defensively, we just got to continue to work. You know, continue to work on our schemes day, day in and day out. And um, if we can play some defense, we'll be okay. 
back here in the post game show and Elijah 75-48 Mamarinek played well um, coach Carver said that he could still see some improvements from his team and um, in the end the if they want to have a deep run they could improve a couple of things for the Tigers yeah definitely coach Carver talked about on the defensive end they have to make their rotations a little bit smoother I thought they played good defensively but he knows the potential of his team and what he could get out of them. So he thinks they need to improve on defense and continue to share the ball on offense. They were very, very good on offense today, moving the ball. Bader with 25, uh, Martin with 19. So as long as they continue to play together, they'll be fine moving forward. They'll have some tough teams that they have to play, but they can beat anybody. Definitely, and they're now 13 and three and six with four games to go and six and nine is Gordon. A lot of people to thank for today's telecast, including the CEO, Eric Lewis, COO, Matt Sullivan, community sports producer is Mr. Rob Moretti. For our camera crew, they were Kevin Duarte, Rob Moretti, and Xavier, the X-Man Campo. Once again, for Elijah Ware, I'm Sean McGraw saying thanks so much for watching and have a great evening.